Hi and welcome back to this uh, series looking at um, models I've either finished building or whether I, where I've finished designing a kit. Um, this time we're looking at something a little bit different. So we've looked so far at, at locomotives, but I got my start doing um, designing models, um, mostly designing wagons, um, which is kind of where I kind of uh, honed my skills for the 3D software. Um, I've done a lot of um, well, quite a few wagons by the time I got to this model, but this is um, a bit different because mostly I'd been um, using uh, published drawings um, and none of the wagons were particularly complicated or interesting. And while this one isn't complex um, or particularly interesting, it's different for two reasons. Firstly, it was... Um, a commission essentially um, it was done for uh, Jimmy Warren he wanted to do he was looking at building a layout based on the AGWI oil refinery at Foley in Hampshire um, and he was looking at kind of flat wagons that would be used for moving um, drums of oil essentially around the refinery on the on the narrow gauge railway there and um, there's a, a book um, on the railway, I'll put a link in the a description, um, that, that showed the, the wagons. Um, and while he couldn't find anything that matched those perfectly, I'd previously designed some small flat wagons that were kind of close. Um, so he asked me whether I could do anything to kind of refine those, uh, those wagons to something a little closer um, to what he could see in the photos in the book. Um, in the end, what I did was I, I started from scratch, and this is what I came up with. Now, the book doesn't have any drawings, um, but I'll put some photos up on the screen so you can see. But um, what it does have is, I think, four photos um, that show the wagon in use. And one of them kind of has the wagon kind of end on, kind of looking a bit like that. Um, as I say, I'll put some photos up on the screen. Um, so you're looking right at the end with the track kind of coming towards you in the picture. And um, from that, I started to kind of mock up um, a, up a, a design. As I say, the, the photos on the screen should kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, so I measured um, the photo, essentially. I scanned it in and then measured it. And I measured the gauge of the rails. Uh, and knowing that was kind of two foot gauge um, allowed me to work out the width um, of the wagon. And then using some of the other photos in the wagon, we could see that they took roughly four oil drums in length uh, this way. Um, and Jamie had already got an idea that he wanted to use the, the Pico um, plastic oil drums. Um, so I kind of scaled the the length of the wagon to match those, those oil drums. Um, and then it was a case of saying, well, did that look right in a kind of three quarters uh, view? And again, I'll, I'll put a photo up. Uh, which fortunately there was another photo in the in the book um, that shows that kind of angled view um, and gave us an idea um, that we were on roughly the right tracks. Um, now unfortunately the printing on this wasn't great. It should have kind of um, plank detail. You can just about see it. But the, the problem with shapeways and, and printing these things is you, at the time when I printed these you couldn't guarantee um, what orientation shapeways would print things in and I think they probably printed it that way up which meant they, they essentially filled this entire area with support material so that the lip around the edge was on the printer bed um, and the support material damages the surface it touches slightly um, so the, the plank detail has disappeared if I printed it now you'd be able to specify the orientation so I'd print it that way up uh, which would mean that this was the top surface there'd be no uh, support material and you'd get better uh, better definition but you can just about see there's some there's some plank detail in there it's a bit difficult to see the paint uh, effect I used actually makes that slightly easier to see on the original print there's almost no no detail whatsoever um, but you can see there's there's not huge the, I mean the, the wagons in the photos aren't complicated they've got kind of two dumb buffers um, and that's about it uh, the wheels are from um, Parkside Dundas. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description. They're essentially just um, the axle boxes are part of the print, um, just painted a different colour, and the wheels just kind of spring into the print into the pinpoint bearing holes. Um, there's enough slight enough spring in the in the plastic. If you're careful, you can just kind of push them in. Um, and I put um, a couple of cross members 
in the bottom so that you could fill this central section with some um, with some weight it's um, um, I can't remember what the the name off the top of my head is but it's basically small metal about ba metal balls um, that kind of provide a little bit of weight because the print itself is very light um, just to stop it kind of bouncing off the track <clears throat> I also put some tiny little slots in the buffer beams here and they will take Greenwich couplings if you want or you can kind of bent wire through depending what you what you wanted um, so if we have a look here are here are some of the um, the oil drums you can see when they come originally they're kind of plastic bright colored plastic quite why I don't know uh, but I just painted them all um, black um, and with a little bit of dry brushing um, so you can see that they they just it just takes if you very careful it just takes the four width ways um, like that which matches oops find another one which matches the the photo in the book um, yeah so um, yeah so it was interesting interesting challenge as I say working without any any drawings I just um, I could have made drawings obviously from the photos but I decided it would be easier just to um, just to do the modeling straight in the 3d software from the dimensions um, and that way I could kind of rotate the the model around as I went to match the photos um, and I think that's worked uh, worked out really really well um, bizarrely I don't think Jamie actually ever got round to building um, the layout that he was intending to um, but however the wagons he we, we printed for him um, have actually seen a lot of use he uh, he built a layout that's called Sandy Shores which is now quite well known um, I think it's won a couple of prizes at shows and, and things and um, it's appeared in a couple of the the main high street railway magazines in the in the UK um, and my wagons often appear in the in the shots either sometimes with oil drums sometimes with just other other things uh, sat on them I'll try and find a photo and, and, and put that up um, but yeah it's been a it was a it was an interesting challenge as I say the actual the actual model itself is really really simple and really easy to print uh, from Shapeways um, at the time because this is well before I had my my own my own 3D printer. Um, so yeah, just a a little uh, a little bit different uh, for the video this week. Um, but yeah, so I hope you you found it interesting. I say I'll put links to the um, well to the to the part the model itself. You can still buy them on Shapeways if you if you want some, um, and then links to the the wheels and the book um, the books. Only small. I don't think it's actually currently um, in print, but you can find it on um, A Books and other places quite easily. Um, and um, it's quite an interesting read. As I say, it covers um, Coal Shot Railway as well as the oil refinery, so it's it's well worth a read. But uh, as I say, unfortunately, no 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 drawings um, before anybody gets too excited uh, about what's in the book.